Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about some creamy, cheesy pasta and vegetables. We'll see what I mean when I get going here. Now, due to time constraints, I had to do a lot of uh, work beforehand and I'll tell you what I've done so far. I've browned about a half, or excuse me, a pound and a half of chicken. And I actually used a pre-barbecued chicken that I got from the store. I don't recommend that for this dish, but that's what I had on hand, so. Well, maybe after I taste it, I will recommend that. And anyway, what we're starting out with here is Velveeta Chili Skillet's dinner. That'd be a nice dinner, you know, if you just went with what was in the box. It'd be okay, a little boring, but we're gonna kick it up and make it look really good and taste really good. Like I say, brown the chicken, I put in water. I've also put in the pasta mix along with the little seasoning pack that they had. At the end, they're supposed to add broccoli florets. This is their broccoli florets. I don't even want to see what's in that. Actually, I do want to see what's in that. This ought to be interesting. This is what broccoli florets look like. I don't know if you can see that. How disgusting is that? Mm, so much for that. We've got our own broccoli florets. We've also got our own bell peppers straight out of the garden. Onions straight out of the garden. We're going to add those right now. This is one hot pan in here. Got them boiling. You say fresh broccoli, fresh bell peppers and onions out of the garden. And also, Adding fresh asparagus, fresh zucchini. I'm also adding a couple herbs, fresh herbs that I just cut and chopped up. I'm adding fresh basil and fresh oregano. You say, why am I adding fresh basil and oregano? Well, number one, I like them. And number two, that just happened to be what I had in my garden today. It actually looks better than anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and incorporate that with that. And we're just going to get all this stirred up here. Let me go with the directions here. Reduce heat, cover. All right, we're going to do that. I'm just going to let this thing simmer for a little bit here. Eh, it's okay, we'll leave it like that. We got it covered. I was going to say, you could use the box. I mean, it, it would be fine. A little boring. Because we're going to add quite a few things. They didn't call for any of the fresh vegetables or fresh herbs. We're already doing that. We're also going to add a few other things. Matter of fact, before we even get it all going there, I'm going to add this is something that's not called for. This is going to really, really make it good cream of chicken soup. This is really going to add to it. Make it creamy and also make it much better tasting actually. Just adding another little flavor to it. The broccoli for us, that was funny. I say this is almost when it starts out, almost a side dish. Even though you could make it a, you could make it a dish, but, but once we get done with all this, it'll be a main dish. Right. Let that simmer for a little while, and then we're going to put some more. Actually, yeah, we'll add that later. These spoons here. This, this reminds me of what I used to ten bar way back in the day. I used to play spoons when I was behind the bar. I know you got to be of a certain age to even know what I'm talking about when I say play spoons, but I used to have a good time with it. People really enjoyed it. You know, they'd call out, hey, Jeff, what do you want to play on the spoons? And I'd give them a number and they'd punch it in the jukebox. Everybody'd have a good time. And you really have no idea what kind of an impact you have on somebody 
This is probably then about 10 years ago, I was working at Office Depot and a guy comes in there and he says, hey, didn't you use the 10 bar in San Diego? I said, yeah, you know, years ago. He says, well, didn't you 10 bar at the Club 48? I said, yeah, yeah, a long time ago. And he says, well, my wife and I used to come in there every Friday night to hear you play spoons. And I went, what? He goes, yeah, we used to come in there every Friday night to hear you play the spoons. And I just thought, I said, dude, that's been 20 years ago. He goes, yeah, yeah, but I, I remember you. Who would ever know such a thing, you know? I have no idea what impact you're making on somebody's life at any particular time. I would never have dreamed that. I knew people enjoyed it, but I didn't know anybody came in just for it. Actually, it was really cool to hear. Like I said, that was, that was at least 15 years after I attended bar. That was a, that was back in the 80s. And this is probably about 10 years ago when you came into the office depot. Need some more ideas for the cooking videos, folks. I'm, I'm uploading these all onto YouTube now, and then I just share it onto Facebook. And I'll tell you what, after looking at Facebook the last couple days, that thing's getting really weird. I opened a Google Plus account, but I haven't got on there to figure it out yet. Still hang with Facebook for a while and see see what happens. Seems like everybody's unhappy with the changes they've made so far. I'm not sure why they keep doing that, but hey, whatever. I don't know if you can see my bell peppers out there in the back. Nice red, yellow, green bell peppers. In fact, that's what I'm using today. Got some nice onions going on. I got a artichoke plant. Things are still going good out here. It's about 82 degrees out here today. Really nice. Nice little breeze coming through here. Alright, we're going to add... There, nice and bubbly. Gotta love that. Add some minced garlic. Yeah, I like a lot of garlic. As you can tell. Yeah, I haven't played the spoons in probably 25 years. Maybe one of these days I'll practice up on it. Do some spoons on one of my videos. Add some salt. And pepper. It comes with a little cheese sauce packet, so we'll try that. If you've watched my videos before, you know I like the Mexican four cheese blend. So we're going to add some of that. I don't know, but I think that's looking pretty darn good, folks. So we start off with a semi main dish, almost a side dish. And add all of these fresh vegetables and fresh herbs. And that can of, can of uh, cream of chicken soup. Along with the fresh grilled chicken. All that cheese incorporated.
I haven't even picked up spoons in probably 30 years. Yeah, <laughs> take some practice. That'll take some time. Time to do it. Hey, say maybe I'll maybe I'll get busy and practice with that a little bit and do it on one of my videos while we're waiting for things to cook like now. Now would have been an excellent time to do that. Much better than hear me speak, I would imagine. I'm sure. Like I say, if you do video ideas, let me know if something you'd like me to give a shot. Let me know your favorite meal or whatever. I'll, I'll put my spin on it. Thinking about making some baking some cookies or cake or something like that, but that wouldn't that wouldn't be all that great for a video. I'd have to do the majority of it beforehand. Or have another one already made up. Kinda like I did this one, actually. I don't think about it. Ideally you would let this thing go for another yeah, five, ten minutes. That's looking pretty good though. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're talking main dish here, folks. Anything you'd like me to talk about too, or not talk about, you know, let me know. Something to make these things interesting, at least a little bit. 15 minute limit for YouTube videos. I have I evidently run out of things to talk about, as you can tell, now being one of those times. Tell you what, we're going to call this a meal. Ideally, you put it, you keep it on here for another probably 10 minutes, maybe even 15, just to let it thicken up a little bit. But time constraints, we're going with what we got. I'll tell you what, the gut's looking pretty darn good to me. Certainly a main meal. Let me know what you think, folks. Call this a creamy, cheesy chicken and vegetable dish. How's that? Sound like a plan? Now I can say to my friends and relatives and neighbors in this case, well, they say les bon temps roulé, let the good times roll. And so until next time, let me know what you want to see. And that's what I'm talking about.